Alright guys, we're going to be doing a little tutorial on this DIY of a premium quality leather steering wheel cover. So, this is the current steering wheel that I currently have at the moment in my Honda Accord Euro, also known as an Acura. But as you guys can see, it's completely faded. It's got a massive rip on this side right here and it is quite annoying to use while I'm driving. So we're going to be doing a bit of a DIY. So this is going to be changing into this beautiful steering wheel cover as well so this cover will come with a cover and it will also become with the sewing kit as well so basically it's just a needle and obviously the thread I've chosen blue because it has blue stitches on this one and my car is blue so I thought you know blue and blue together so I'm going to try and put this together and give you guys an idea of how it looks like at the end all right guys so we're going to give you guys a quick little update on me pretty much putting together this damn steering wheel so it was a lot harder than I thought guys putting on this steering wheel so it did take a little while for me to try to figure out how to put this on and the, probably the hardest part about doing all of this was actually figuring out the actual little um, the actual little sewing needle and trying to figure out how and where to put it in to start it off to be honest with you guys. So to give you guys an idea, if you guys are looking for obviously steering wheels and you want to obviously change the look of it to make it look really really good, you definitely do want to consider getting one of these steering wheel covers guys it's an actual really nice little piece it actually feels genuinely really nice it feels like a really nice sort of leather fox jacket that's what that sort of feels like so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna have the leather steering wheel cover it's gonna come with a needle and it's gonna come with the thread included as well the best part about this guys is the threading it's already there so all you guys really have to do is just pretty much put the thread into the thread that's already attached to the steering wheel and it's already there to go. You don't need to make your own holes, you don't need to make your own path, it's already there. All you've got to do is put the thread that they've supplied to you, put it into the, the holes, into the thread and then tighten it up and then away you go. So it is a long lengthy process, there is enough thread for you, trust me. And then once it's done, it looks pretty damn good. All right, so I am about half an hour in, but I've had to reset and redo it because as you guys can see, the threads are not even. So I tried to find a couple of different ways to do it, but I ran through a couple of different problems. So I'm going to stick with this stitching style instead of this one. So basically what I basically did was that I went through in and out like this, and then I tried to do a cross weave as well. So in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. But that didn't work, so what we're going to be doing is in one side, out the other side, in one side, out the other side. And that's pretty much how I made this little sort of stitching here. That's probably going to be the most beneficial for this because I feel like there's not enough string to finish off every single little piece. So what we're going to be doing is going to have to go back in reverse. I think honestly this will probably take somewhere between two to three hours to get it done properly um, but we'll see how we go once we are done and if not it'll be the next day all right guys so we are at the next day just to give you guys an idea and this is the update on the stitching so as you guys can see it's slightly slightly worse here but it gets a lot better up here so the initial stages of what I found out guys basically that if you do end up stuffing it up this is what's going to happen so a common issue here um, is that if you don't go through the threads properly or if you start yanking things out this is what's going to happen to be honest it's not too much of a fuss for me because this is a daily for me nothing too crazy and i'm looking to sell this car in a short period of time so this is just a temporary fix but this is the style is how i went with the thread so what i pretty much did was in here is basically through one, through the other, through one, through the other, through one, through the other. So basically how it works, if you guys can see here, for example, there's one thread, two threads here. So one thread will go into the other one over here. And then this one will go into the new hole. So they never double, double overlap. It's always one new hole to one new hole. And then from there into this one, and then from this one into that one, which will give you this sort of result. There's going to be a couple of other ways that people do this. People do a double, people do um, basically a through in, through out, and then pull out. But that's pretty much what I'm doing. I have quite a bit of thread still left. I was honestly scared that it wasn't going to finish all of this, but it looks like it's happening so far. Another recommendation would be to do this on a nice 
and sunny day so the earlier you do it the better it is if you're trying to do it in the evening i probably suggest you wouldn't because it's going to get dark pretty quickly unless you have undercover light so i'm going to finish this one off and hopefully i can show you guys the end result once i am done all right guys so this is the final result guys so as you guys can see all the stitching is pretty much finished and done i've gone through all the way through throughout the stitching and i'll be honest it probably took about an hour an hour and a half or so now that i got the hang of it and this is the final product guys it looks pretty damn good to me let me show you a quick before and after as well this is the before and this is the after so guys if you guys obviously like this one guys it's about 20 bucks or so on ebay or you can buy it on amazon i'll leave a link in the description if you guys like it you can buy it but guys if you like the video make sure to like make sure to subscribe as well you watch mike's money moves and i'll just show you how to make a new steering cover for 20 bucks